Hi guys, just before we get into the video, I'd just like to make sure that everyone understands and is aware that the pill pill used in this video is 100% safe, unloaded, and I'm fully licensed to own and work on this pill pill. Enjoy the video. On this episode, we're gonna be checking out, you guessed it, some of the DNA Custom Paints products, how to use them, and how cool they look in person. Now look, I've used DNA paints for oh, probably six years. Love their stuff. Um, if you're not from Australia and you're a little bit unfamiliar with some of the DNA products, let me give you a bit of a rundown. So DNA Custom Paints are based in a suburb in Melbourne called Scoresby here in Australia. Now look, they're an Australian owned uh, company and they produce and manufacture all their products here as well. Now look, if you're unfamiliar with what kind of products they sell, I'll give you a bit of a rundown as well. They sell solid colors, uh, metallics, candy base coats, uh, candies and color shift pearls. And that's just the top of the iceberg. They sell marbleizers, mutant crystals, and uh, metal flakes as well. And they have so many different colors, it's not funny. So with that being said, let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be paying today. Due to uh, YouTube monetization, um, I need to be careful with what I call this. So for the sake of YouTube, we're gonna call it a Pew Pew. Now on this Pew Pew, it has a plastic synthetic stock. So it's not a conventional uh, Pew Pew having a wooden stock. So uh, in regards to preparation, um, we're gonna be using a sheet of grey scotch bright. Uh, it comes in all different sizes. You can basically just tear it off to whatever size you want. Um, pretty straightforward. So that's what we're gonna be using. And how we're gonna use it is just by scuffing up the surface of the peel peel. Um, making sure we get all those edges. In regards to masking, I've used 18 mil tape and I've left a small gap between the top of the peel peel and the synthetic stock. Now, regards to colors, right, we're gonna start with the DNA Custom Paints Pure Black Solid Base Coat. Um, so solid meaning it has no pearls, no metallics, nothing like that, it's just black base coat. So once that dries, we'll probably put maybe two or three coats down of this, giving it probably 10 to 15 minutes between coats. Um, once that's dry, um, and we've got full coverage, mind you, um, we're gonna be swapping over to the Algae Color Shift Pearl. So what Color Shift is, is basically as it uh, sort of sounds, it changes between colors every angle you look at it. So it, it changes between gold, green, blue, and purple. So it's gonna look pretty cool, and I can't wait to start laying it down. Now, in regards to DNA, they have a sister company called Normfest. Now, what Normfest is, is uh, they basically have heaps of products as well, from body fillers through to um, different clears. Like, they, there's so many products. I'll put a link to their uh, brand down in the description below. Also, I'll put a link down to these uh, aerosol uh, color shifts and all their other products that I'm gonna use in this video. So, with that being said, uh, let's get into it. We're gonna start scuffing up the surface. Um, and we'll get this ball rolling. All right, so just use your gray scotch bright and scuff up that whole surface. Make sure you get around all those edges in all those tight spots. Um, we want a full uniform scuffed up panel. Well, not a panel, but a, a pill pill stock. Okay, so now it's all scuffed up. All that's left to do now is to blow it off, give it a good tack rag, get all that dust off the stock so we can start putting down our next product. One thing that you've got to consider when painting the synthetic stock is keeping in mind that it's plastic. If we were to start putting down our aerosol colors down on top of the synthetic stock, um, it's just gonna start lifting all our paint off later on. So there's one extra step and product that you can use and that's a plastic primer. You can use aerosol or plastic primers. Um, I wanna try and keep everything aerosol on this video. DNA Custom Paints also has a Prepsol and uh, plastic primers and stuff like that in their range of products as well. 
Because this is synthetic, it's plastic, I don't recommend using Prepsol. Just try and use a tack rag and try and get it as clean as possible. Okay, well now our stock is all plastic primed. It's dry. I've left it for probably 20 minutes now and um, I'll put two coats down. So our next step now is to get some of the uh, DNA black base coat and we're gonna put a nice even coat over the peel peel stock. So we'll start up the tops. The first initial thing that I've noticed is the fan on the can. It's rather even. And it sprays rather nice. Most aerosol cans you might have used in the past, they all spray horrible, let's be honest. But the DNA spray cans, I've never used them before and I'm telling you, they spray really nice. So that's just a dry coat, just a, a bit of a, a tack, a tack coat. Um, we'll let that dry for probably five or 10 minutes. It is drying pretty quickly. So we'll just wait until that fully dries and we'll put our second coat down. Okay, so our stock is fully covered in the pure black aerosol by DNA. Now it's time to put our algae green color shift pearl over the top. Make sure that you give the can a good spray before you start applying it because you don't want any uh, large droplets of paint going on the stock because it's going to ruin the effect. See, it took a bit to get going there. Spraying nice now, let's get into it. So we, what we want to really focus on here guys is just even coats. Not sure if you can see it on camera. That's only our first coat. Don't expect to see great differences in color straight away. You really got to build that up and get full coverage of the pearl. I can see it's rather green at the moment. But we'll get it outside once it's clear coated. After it's had three coats of the pearl, and we'll be able to see what it really looks like out in sunlight. All right, let's talk about the Normfest 2K Clear in the aerosol can. Now, there's one thing that I really like about this product is that it's a two-part uh, system. So it has a like, acrylic resin hardeners actually at the base of the can. Uh, we'll give you that bit of a look there. So on the top of the lid, um, it comes with a little cap here. So what you do is you shake it for about two minutes and then you basically put the little red button on the base of the can and you press it in, that activates those uh, hardeners with the clear coat um, and then that's going to give you a real tight bonding agent um, which you really need for applying a clear coat. Now, one thing I really love about it is that it permanently seals down the painted surface um, and not only that, the high gloss that this has makes this a universal product for but custom stuff through to order body uh, repair shops. Um, another real good thing that I love about the clear is that it's actually resistant to like petrol and um, other chemicals like that and also weathering. So for the application for what I'm using it for on the Pew Pew stock, it's perfect. I'm gonna be up the bush shooting deer and all sorts. And uh, I'll tell you what, if it's, if it's raining, I don't need to worry about it. If it's a nice sunny day, I don't need to be worrying about my beautiful stock delaminating and fading and things like that because of this beautiful product. Go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below.
Right, I'll tell you what I've done with the Normfest clear. As the directions indicate, you put the can upside down after shaking it for two minutes. You then grab the red cap, you put it on the button, you activate it. Once it's finished activating, flip the can back up, shake it for another two minutes, which I've just finished doing. Let's take the lid off and start applying it. So, it looks really good. You don't actually see the true form of the colour, really, until you've got the clear on. So let's put it on now. You really want to be about 25 centimetres away. I'm probably a little bit closer than that, but... Looks pretty good. That should be right for my first coat. Looks pretty good. It's pretty glossy on my first coat. Didn't want to put it on too wet. Because I don't want runs all over it. So we'll see how that looks. I mean, all, all I can see now is blue all the way down here and then it's green down the bottom. So, okay. Well, that's sat for about five minutes. I love the colors on it. Very, very cool. Let's uh, put our second coat down. This one, we want to put it a little bit wetter than our first. And there you have it, guys. That's all finished. All dry. A few things to put back on the stock. But look at the results we have. Beautiful color shift. It's all even. And the best part about it is, it was all done via aerosol cans. Who would have thought? DNA Custom Paints really are developing their products to be very user friendly for just the average painter through to the full professional custom painter. I'll put a link to the DNA products that I've used in this video in the description below. Go check them out and you'll be amazed what you can do with a little bit of time with not much effort. Thanks for watching guys, you take it easy and I'll see you on the next one.